Hi, this is Wes Fryer, and we were talking today in Wichita, Kansas about visual note-taking, and these are the very crude visual notes that I took, but uh, visual notes are not about beautiful artwork, it's about trying to make learning sticky. Um, we talked about what is persistent learning, how long would that learning stick with you, and that if you create, which is at the top of Bloom's taxonomy, probably you're going to increase the chances of that learning being sticky. We need to ask our students to synthesize. Um, we talked about making the ideas visible, the ideas of our class, and visual notes can help us do that. Um, yes, we need to pay attention. Sometimes when we see kids doodling, we think they're not paying attention. Well, that doodling can actually be channeled into visual notes, and it may be visual notes already, but um, professionally, those people are called graphic recorders who go to meetings, and they sometimes use butcher paper, they sometimes use iPads, but they make the learning of the group visible. Probably, well, pretty much everyone could tell bad stories about note taking, you know, where they remember teachers, it was so hard to take notes, and a teacher wouldn't, wouldn't you know, give them copies of their notes. Um, we watched Rachel Smith's video, and she talked about being fast. Don't fall behind in your note taking. Um, and so, basically, the point was, this is another way to take notes. It's an option to give your kids. It invites creativity, and it might open the door for your kids to be able to actually create notes for themselves personally that they'll use later to remember what those key points were and that's really the point of note taking is to be able to look back at them and have enough of a trigger that ah I remember that I made that connection it also shows us the connection they're making or not making too and that's what a good assessment should do